Hi, I'm Nazar Rashid. I'm Jared. And in this segment of PCTV, we're going to revisit connecting a smart TV to your wireless internet. Now, why are we doing that, Jared? Well, basically because we had such a huge response on the first video. And uh, it wasn't particularly detailed. It was, um, it was one particular TV. It was my TV. And it was um, a Panasonic one. So we thought we'd look at a different brand of a TV, run through it again, because we just got a, a huge amount of questions on that. Yep, this one is going to be a Samsung Smart LED 48-inch Smart TV with 3D and all sorts of bells and whistles and everything else. But connecting up to your wireless internet isn't that much dissimilar to what we did before. So we're going to show you how we do that. And yeah. we'll show you that right now. Okay. Okay. So first of all, you go into your, with your little remote control, you go into your menu settings over there. And I will go down to network, just like that. And you see it says network status. We're not connected at the moment. We disconnected specifically for this. So I go into my network settings, which gives you an outline of the availability of networks around you. Okay, so as you can see, it's got a few options for us to choose from. The cloud, the cloud 5G, and triple S app. We want to go down to triple S app because that's my local. And it's a, um, a Wi-Fi which is protected using WPA. Jared, what does WPA stand for? Uh, Wi-Fi protected access. That's right, and it's just a, a format that they use in order to encrypt you know, your Wi-Fi so that no one can piggyback on it for free. That's right. You have to p type in a password, access code if you will. So I would do that right now. You don't need to see what I'm going to do. Now it's worth noting here that all of this only works if you have correctly set up your Wi-Fi on your home router. But if you've connected any device to it, like your laptop or anything like that when you probably bought the service it was set up for you, then this should work fine. But, um, yeah, just one caveat that obviously you have to set up the passwords and the SSID. That's right. So now I've entered my passwords, uh, which I hope will blank out because we don't want everyone in the world to see what my password was. You hit done, and then it will show you that it's checking the wireless connection right now, and we are connected. Oh, great. And it's really that simple. So mm. it's not a difficult thing to do. So now I go down to OK. And what that means now is I can get out of my menu and if I want to hit my smart hub, okay, I can go in there and um, I all of a sudden have these options that I can check. There are all the channels. The cool options are here. These are your Wi-Fi connected stuff. This is all your little apps that will take you online. So if I wanted to, I could go to, let's say to begin with, um, all right, SBS On Demand. So if I went to SBS On Demand and then straight away, SBS On Demand pops up and you can go in there, that's your home page and then you go into movies if you want or you can go into comedy which we will do right now just to show you something and I'll show you my very favourite my very favourite show on SBS 2 at the moment as soon as it pops up, there we go uh, which is a couple of, so you can go through every single with SBS On Demand obviously everything, all of their shows that they've got on um, the channel is available for you. I'm going to go down to community. Yeah. And bear in mind again, this is only one service. Yes. This is just SBS On Demand. That previous page had all the various services that you can see. Get. And um, now I can watch my favorite shows, which in this case is, it happens to be community because I like that particular comedy show. Yeah, me too. So that's very, very simple. Very, very easy. And that's how to connect up your Wi-Fi to your smart TV. And um, if you want to access all of the um, applications that your television has, your smart TV, then you'll need to have Wi-Fi connected up to it so that you can do everything you want it to do. So going back to my smart hub now, I'll show you exactly where we are back there. Once again, as a matter of fact, this particular TV comes with an e-manual, which allows you to, if you have any sort of problems or issues with your TV and you want to see what, how to do it, it shows you. There's a quick guide right there. Oh, look. It tells you how to do every single thing. So, if I was, if I didn't have the knowledge of doing what I just did, I can simply click internet connection there. And um, there you go. Establishing a wired connection, establishing a wireless connection. If we can click to that, it will give you straight away a graphical visual interface showing you exactly what we just told you how to do. Oh, that's good. So a lot of your TVs nowadays will have that. As you can see, it's going through the same exact steps that we just went through. Shows you how to connect up to it. And off you go. This is a lot more detailed because um, 
they have to obviously try to account for every type of instance. And so they've gotten every type of, of, of connection possibility here. This is all the manual stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, something else we might want to mention, because we did get questions about it, is the wireless dongle. Yeah. So on my TV, it was uh, a separate device that plugged into a USB on the back of the TV. Was yep. this one? Was this it, one's got an internal. It's just built in. Yeah, Wi-Fi okay. built in. So that's a feature that you need to have. If you don't have Wi-Fi built into your television, you'll need to have, like Jared just said, a wireless dongle, which will click, connect up to a USB in the back of your television and give you exactly the same feature mm. set. Though I, I reckon probably most TVs now, Yeah. you don't worry about that anymore. No, no. It's just something that they're standard putting into the TVs from the factory. So for us, that's fantastic. It makes it so much easier. For you, it means that you don't have to go and buy you know, third party products to have to plug in. It's, it gets a little bit tedious and a bit sort of um, difficult. This is much, much simpler. Okay. So there you go. Great.